At the 15th China International Aviation and Aerospace Exhibition, also known as the Zhuhai Air Show 2024, China unveiled a groundbreaking military technology, the YJ-21 hypersonic anti-ship missile. This missile is part of China's expanding arsenal aimed at challenging naval power projection, particularly in strategically sensitive maritime regions. With the introduction of the YJ-21, China sends a clear message about its advancing military capabilities and growing dominance in hypersonic technology. The YJ-21 represents a significant leap in missile technology. It is a solid-fueled two-stage missile that reaches incredible speeds during its flight. During the mid-course phase, it can exceed Mach 6, and in its terminal phase, it can reach Mach 10. This hypersonic speed makes it incredibly difficult for enemy missile defense systems to intercept, reducing the response time to nearly zero. The missile's trajectory is a unique blend of high-speed flight and a quasi-ballistic path, allowing it to perform high-G maneuvers in its final approach. This combination of speed and agility ensures that it can strike moving targets with precision, even in the most contested environments, while minimizing the chances of interception. What sets the YJ-21 apart is its advanced guidance system. Equipped with an inertial navigation system, INS, and satellite guidance, the missile can hit targets with exceptional accuracy over a range of approximately 1,500 kilometers. This makes it a highly effective weapon against high-value maritime targets, such as aircraft carrier groups, and ensures that it remains accurate even in heavily defended zones. The YJ-21 is designed for versatility, capable of being launched from both sea and air platforms. Initially seen on China's Type 055 Runhai-class guided missile destroyers, the missile can be launched from vertical launch systems, VLS, making it highly effective in maritime environments. More recently, China has adapted the YJ-21 for air-launched platforms, such as the H-6K strategic bomber. This adaptation significantly extends the missile's range, allowing it to strike from even greater distances, enhancing China's ability to project power across disputed maritime regions. The YJ-21 is a key component of China's anti-access-slash-area denial, a 2 ad strategy. Its introduction marks a new chapter in China's efforts to counter adversarial naval forces, especially the U.S. Navy's carrier strike groups, which have long dominated the Indo-Pacific region. By integrating hypersonic speeds, high maneuverability, and precision targeting, the YJ-21 challenges the traditional advantages of these heavily defended naval platforms. This missile complements other systems in China's A2-AD arsenal, such as the DF-21D carrier killer missile and the DF-17 hypersonic glide vehicle. Together, they create a layered defense system that complicates enemy calculations, making it more difficult for any adversary to navigate through the region without significant risks. The public unveiling of the YJ-21 at the Zhuhai Air Show serves not only as a demonstration of China's technological progress, but also as a strategic statement to its rivals. It showcases China's growing capabilities in hypersonic and maritime strike technologies and sends a clear message about its increasing influence on global military power dynamics. In conclusion, the YJ-21 is a game-changer in modern naval warfare. Its hypersonic speed, precision guidance, and remarkable maneuverability make it a potent weapon designed to challenge traditional naval doctrines and reshape the balance of power in the Indo-Pacific. As China continues to develop and deploy such advanced technologies, the YJ-21 marks a significant step towards solidifying its position as a global military superpower.